So in this video, we're going to talk about the resonant drum head and the tuning of the resonant drum head particularly, and, and maybe dispel a couple of myths that, that go around relating to the, to the resonant drum head of the drum. And uh, we'll also show some of the features in our drum tune and how they help with getting a, um, a, a meaningful tuning of the resonant drum head. So first thing is, why do we even have a, a resonant drum head? And, and the simple answer is, is because it gives us more control over the tone and the frequency of the drum. If there was just a single drum head, it would vibrate at a very specific frequencies that we have no control over. Um, obviously we could tune that tight or low, but, but the overtones we have no control over. So by adding the resonant drum head, we can manipulate the whole sound of the drum so it has a bit more tone, a bit more a, a richness and a more sort of uh, musical strength to it. And, uh, and the other thing that the resonant drum head does is it, it allows us to sort of trap the energy inside the drum for longer so the drum becomes you know gives a more powerful kind of sound so um so the only other thing with the resonant drum head is it's really not really possible to think of the drum as two drum heads that you tune one and then the other and then look at each individually actually they act together they work together they vibrate together when you hit the top head the air in the drum vibrates on the on the the, the resonant head which then reflects back up and, and the drum really operates as a single instrument. So it's not really possible to just say, right, I'll tune the top and then I'll tune the bottom. You have to think about it all as a single drum. And that makes it quite complicated. So what is it that the resonant drum head tells us about the drum? Well, the main thing is, is that it sets the difference and the relationship between these major frequencies that we've already talked about in some of our other videos. So the main frequency of the drum, the fundamental, when we hit the drum at the center, is the kind of boom, the, over, the, the, the full tone, the full pitch of the drum. But we also have this other frequency at the edge, which is more of a ping, we call that the overtone, and we use that for tuning the drum around the edge. And you can hear the difference between those. Okay, and those are two really useful frequencies, one for setting the whole pitch of the drum and the other for setting, for checking that the drum is, is uniform. But when we hit the drum, they kind of both, they both operate at the same time. So actually, whether they are in tune with each other or whether they're clashing or how they add together and make a richer sound of the drum is, is really what the resonant drum head can give us some control over. So just using the iDrum tune app, let's just see what those frequencies are on this drum. This drum, I've, I've literally, I've just added the drum heads, I've tightened up the, the lugs, I've made sure that they're all uniform, I've set the pitch to a sensible pitch. Um, so I've done all those basic things. I've got the drum to a point where it's even, everything's uniform and sounding good. But at this moment in time, I've not put any effort into tuning the resonant drum head. So let's just have a look. There you go, I've just taken a reading. The main frequency of the drum is 107.5 hertz, and the edge frequency is up at 185 hertz. Okay, so those are our two frequencies. Actually, if I look at the spectrum analyzer, I should be able to get both of those at the same time. There they are, there they both are acting together. And that's why the spectrum analyzer is good, because it allows us to see the two frequencies at the same time. So what's the relationship between those two frequencies? One is at 106 hertz, and the other is at 184 hertz. And they're the main frequencies of the drum. Well, what the resonant drum head does is it allows us to decide how close or how far apart those frequencies are. Like I said, if the resonant drum head wasn't there, they'd be at very specific intervals. And that by the laws of acoustics, they, they'd, op, they'd vibrate at very specific intervals, like all music instruments do. But when we add the resonant drum head, that means we got some control over that. So what does that mean? Well, actually, what it does is it allows us to control what we call the ratio or the factor between those two frequencies. So if I now basically take a reading, and I'm just going to use the resonant tuning feature here, which basically says, take a reading at the center, Now take a reading at the edge. And what it does is it calculates the ratio between those two frequencies. And that ratio we call the resonant tuning factor. 
it's something that's come out of our research at iJumptune. We've published about this at conferences and in journals. This is an, a new way of being able to get a, me a measure, a number, a numerical value that represents how the two drum heads are tuned together. So at the moment, that's at 1.73. So what that means is, is that this, the, the overtone frequency is 1.73 times higher than the center frequency. Now, if that was two, that would be a whole octave, yeah? because an octave goes in doubling of frequencies. So if that number was two, there would be a whole octave difference between them. Well, two is quite high on a drum, and actually, we don't want octaves. We want something a bit in between an octave, something that's a bit more musical. Um, and the value that represents a perfect fifth is 1.5. And a perfect fifth is a really nice number. It, it's, it's, it's exactly 1.5, it's on the major musical scale, and we know that if we play a tone and another tone at its fifth together, it sounds quite nice. So a lot of drummers have been doing this for years. They've been tuning their drums so that they sound nice. But actually there's some science behind it that says why it sounds nice. It's because it's operating on musical values. So that number 1.73, is a bit high. I want to pull that down to 1.5. And I can use the resonant drum head to do that. So what do I do? Well, this gives me some information. To decrease RTF, loosen the batter head, and tighten the underside. What that means is, basically, I've, at this moment in time, I've got the batter head too tight in relation to the resonant head. The resonant head's loose, the batter head's tight. Well, actually, I want to kind of bring them closer together. So I need to loosen the batter and tighten the underside. So I'm just going to do that, just with a few nudges. So I'm just loosening the batter head, and I'm turning the drum over, and I'm tightening The resonant head and every time I'm just making sure that I'm hitting I'm turning about the same amount on the key on every single loop because I know that that this is fairly evenly tuned and I don't want to change that okay so now I've done what it said I've loosened the batter head and I've tightened the underside well now the drum should still have around the same frequency but it's it's giving a different tone so let's take that reading again center And edge. Okay, so now we've got a resonant tuning factor of 1.49. And that's great, that's the sort of the number I was looking for, 1.5. So I've pulled that down from 1.73 uh, or whatever it was, to down all the way down to 1.49. And I'm aiming for 1.5, so I'm pretty close. But unfortunately, in the process, I've lowered the tuning of the whole drum because actually you know, I didn't know whether I was going to go. Initially, the drum was at 108 hertz, and now it's at 100 hertz. So actually, if I want to keep that um, factor and tune the drum up a little bit, I now need to nudge up both the underside and the top just a little bit. to get a little bit closer, slightly higher frequency, but maintain that 1.5. So now if I take another reading. Okay, great. Now we're absolutely perfect. We're on 1.5. We've tuned the drum to 106 hertz. It's got a, a, um, it's got a resonant factor of 1.5, which we know is a fifth in the musical scale, and there's some Mathematics to prove why 1.5 is a fifth. A sixth is 1.67. To be honest, that sounds okay as well. So, you know, there's no right or wrong here, but it's a good rule of thumb to aim for that, that RTF value to be 1.5. And then you know that the two drum heads are tuned pretty much in the same range. You know, what we don't want is a really tight top head and a really loose batter head. And opposite, we don't want a really loose top head and a really tight batter head. We want them to be working together in sort of their best zone. 
And uh, the great thing is, is that this, this resonant tuning factor analysis allows us to be really sure. And then every time we change drum heads or on different nights, if you're playing at gigs or whatever, you can just double check and make sure that you know that your drum heads are kind of working well together. Um, and that's how we recommend tuning the resonant drum head.